Welcome to the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. Our match today is Alex Kazakis from Greece versus Joshua Filler from Germany. And I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. It's a race to nine, nine ball racked on the spot, alternate break, three consecutive fouls by the same players, Jeez. lost a game. Balls must go past, past the head string, unless you pocket balls on the break. That'll determine that. We are in Italy. This is a Euro Tour match. Uh, I, I, I know both players well, uh, kind of well, but I've never played filler. I've played Kazakis once. Filler to break from the left side, left bottom, and he'll drive the cue ball to the side rail. There he's got that, but I think he's fouled the break already. So, no, he made two balls and he got one back, so. The one going on the side saved him on that, so. I thought for a moment he fouled. I think uh, Gazakis thought he fouled also. He's going to cut this ball in the side pocket somehow. It's the only pocket he has to shoot the two in and come down table and just... And if he puts a little left on it, it, his problem is he's got to miss the five ball in the middle, in his, in his path there. I think he's looking at putting a tremendous amount of spin on it or something and spinning, drawing and spinning or... This is tricky for me to call this one correctly. Because the five ball is truly in his way and there's a scratch too. If he doesn't hit it right, if he tries to hit it with some kind of draw or something, I think he's gonna try to go between the pocket and the five and, and, and spin back down the table somehow with left. He's gotta jack up a little bit to do it. And he's got to pop down on it just a little bit. I don't think he can roll it and do it. That's what the problem is. He has to alter the cue ball to execute the shot. He's got an easy safety, though. Of course, we always overlook the safety when there's a shot to pocket the ball. He could just roll the two ball over there behind the six, seven, nine. But I think he's got a chance to pocket this ball somehow. It's not that hard a shot to pocket, I don't think. He's drawing it a little bit. Looks like he's going to try to alter the cue ball. Just like I said, between them like that. And that was a nice shot, I'll tell you that right now. The only thing is, is, ooh, he's living good, I'll tell you that. But he deserved that, because that was some shot. He'll just draw this back a little bit, because I don't think he can do much with it. And he's left-handed, too. He can't hardly reach it. I think he'll just try to draw back and create a little bit of angle for that five. I don't know if the six goes past the... If he can just get a little angle on the five, he can just follow the five and shoot the six in the corner. So I don't think the six goes in the side past the seven. I can't tell on this screen. But he sure is taking a long time to do it. No, just kidding. <laughs> he will just try to kill it right there and move it just a little maybe. Just like that. He couldn't do much with it. Now he's laying funny now. He may have to play the six ball in the same corner. He's looking at that. He's going to have to put a lot of spin on that. That's tricky. He could float over and hit the nine ball and play the six in the side. That's probably the right play. And if he over hits it, he might get for the corner. See how he went over there and pointed his cue. He'll hit it with with middle, with a lot of spin. He won't hit it too hard. He'll just float the cue ball. Damn, he drew it. Wow. That was some shot there. I didn't think he could do that. This table, I can't tell the conditions of it, but I can tell you one thing, it's awful dry. He'll just draw back a little, create a little bit of angle going towards the eight on the seven, the right bottom. Now he'll just draw over 
he might he might follow to the rail too. He might not go to the bottom rail, just stay right there, like that. He might go two rails under a nine or draw out in the middle with right. Draw out in the middle with right. I should just go ahead and say that he's gonna draw everything. Left bottom. Like he drew that five ball and I thought he was gonna roll it. He almost got snookered though. Kazak is to break, same side, one nothing filler. Left bottom, he'll drive the cue ball to the side rail with left bottom. Medium hard, they don't want to foul the break. He may not take it much of a chance. He didn't. He didn't hit him quite that hard, really. He tries to hit him at exactly the right speed. I've seen him, I played him one time, so I know what he's going to do. I'm not just kidding. <laughs> But anyway, uh, he's got a tricky shot. It's, it's a green light shot all the way. Shoot the ball in the, he's gonna shoot it past the seven ball in the left corner looking our way, right corner looking our way right now. He's gonna jack up a little bit with right bottom. This is a full commitment shot. Just get down and commit yourself. He's gonna draw the cue ball to the side rail and come back out for the two. He's got to hit it kind of firm, too. It's one of my favorite shots, really. Good shot. Nice. He hit that nice. And he'll put a lot of left on this, or I can't tell what the table's doing, but he might go around the three ball and shoot the three in the same corner. <clears throat> or go between the six and the three and shoot the three in the other corner. Yeah, like that, and shoot the three in the same corner. Yep, yeah, that was my first pick. He'll either draw this off the side rail. I gotta start covering myself on the draws because these guys draw a lot now. But the younger guys draw. I did too when I was younger. I drew the ball a lot. I like rolling it now. He'll roll this with left top. He should roll it with left top. I don't think he can draw it. It's too much angle. Left top. Go back to the middle of the table like that. Create a little bit of an angle on the five if he can. He didn't. He'll have to draw straight back now. <clears throat> <clears throat> but he's okay. He'll just draw straight back kind of where the cue ball is now. Maybe short of it. And he'll have a perfect angle with a six because I can see he's going to have an angle. Oh, he's stunned off the rail. I didn't know he had an angle. I thought he was straight in. There, when a guy, when I ask, a, tell a guy to, he's going to stun the ball, he'll draw it. He's got to use the rail this time. <coughs> Excuse me. Right bottom, he'll draw back to where the cue ball is almost, past it a little. He'll put a lot of bottom on this. That slows the cue ball down. See how much angle he's got? But all that bottom will slow the cue ball down a little for him with spin, see? He can be a little bit aggressive and the cue ball won't get away from him because that's the bottom's what does that. I can't tell if he'll draw over and bump the nine or he can roll past the nine and shoot the nine in the same corner or he can draw away from the nine. He's putting a lot of bottom. I think he can draw away from it and shoot the nine in the same corner like that. Good shot. It's like 1-1 one, one, as soon as uh, Kazakis pockets this nine ball. There we go, 1-1. One, one. Filler to break, left side, left bottom. Drive the cue ball to the side rail. Perfect break except the cue ball. Ooh, I thought it was gonna scratch, but it didn't. He got two balls back. It's a legal break. He's got a cut shot on the two ball. He's gonna go two rails back to the middle of the table. It's not too hard out once he makes this shot. Just lightly cut it slow. Two rails back to the middle of the table like that. Perfect. It's a pretty uh, simple out. Of course, he did land a little funny on this. I don't know if he's gonna roll forward or back up a little bit. 
He could go forward a little and shoot the five in the other corner or draw back just a little and shoot the five in the same corner like that. Now he's going to draw two rails. He might go around the seven underneath it or draw above it and use all the rails. No, he went around it like that. Perfect. Good shot. And he landed perfect too. Now he'll just draw out. I think he'll draw all the way out for the side. Yep. Good shot. He'll just slow roll this and kill it. I don't think he'll... Oh, he used his powder, huh? Uh... I would just slow roll and kill it, but he might go to the bottom rail and bounce off. Like that, yeah. Good shot. He's got to go back and forth, draw before the side or go three rails. Three rails like that. Good shot. He's making faces. Don't like where the cue ball's landing. Just roll this in with a little bit of left. A little slow like that. Good shot. He looks pretty sound. I haven't watched him play much, but left, left side for Kazakis, two to one filler. Left, left bottom, drive the cue ball to the rail. That's what I can't do on this break, is I don't drive the cue ball to the rail correctly all the time. Like that. He's beating me to death with the break. That's a big shot and pull. That's a good break. I think he got straight in on the one. The one, I can't tell exactly. I think he can just draw back just lightly and be all right. That's all he needs to do. Once he draws back, oh, the six and the five's tied up. That's a little funny down there. But the, the one, two, and three should be elementary. Once he draws back. A little bit like that. He's going to slow roll this in or go back and forth. I think he'll slow roll it and stay in the middle of the table so he have a little bit of angle on the three so he can come back on the pink, the four ball, a little better or different or something. Slow roll this, come right back in the middle of the table. Yep, just like that. He's going to come down the middle of the table and land the cue ball almost where it is. Now, maybe. No, he can't do that. The nine's in the way. Hmm. He may, it, it may not look that way on the screen, but I thought he could come down and stay where the cue ball is and go two rails around the nine. I don't think he can do that. He's going to have to... I think he's going to come down and try to draw over or something. Or come all the way down for the side. I can't tell exactly. Yeah, he's going to draw over. That was one of my guesses. And try to hit him. And if he misses him, he's going to get for the corner. He's going to try to land for the same corner he's shooting the four ball in. He may not even be trying to hit him. He's just trying to land the ball perfect over there. Unless he can roll the ball. No, I see him heading low. He's just going to draw over and try to land where he can shoot the five in the same pocket or run into him, one or the other. I think he's laying just right to draw into him, but he could skim off the five and scratch or not get a decent shot maybe if he hits him. I still think he can, it's tricky drawing and landing it right where he wants it. I know that. The shooter in that at five in the same corner. That's what I knew was going to happen, kind of. I don't know why. Just the way those balls, those two, five and six were sitting, it 
was evident that something, you know, something was going to happen. Let's see, he's got no shot now. He's got to play safe. He'll just bump the five and, and try to put him behind the nine somehow. Looks like his only shot. But this is the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. And I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. Alex Kazakis has a, uh, a safety here. He's going to try to bump the five lightly and put him behind the nine ball. No, he had a little bit harder. and Still trying to put him behind the nine. And he did an excellent job, I'll tell you that. Great shot. Really was. Now he'll just he'll just erase that knowledge right there with this stick. <laughs> the jump stick. He's just gonna jump and try to create. He might try to make it. Well, obviously he's gonna try to make it, but he I think in your mind really when you're doing this, you're trying to get lucky. You're not trying like a shot like this. If you make it, you're seriously lucky. And if you get, if you snooker the guy, you're seriously lucky. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is a lucky cue, this thing. I don't ever get lucky with it that much, but uh, I've seen guys get real lucky with it. Seems like it hits at the right speed where the balls land right, where you don't have a shot. Jumping, probably trying to bank it. He scratched, and he almost made it, wow. Yeah, he should have just jumped with middle ball and like tried to create some distance between the shot. That's usually what I do with it. Instead of trying to make one and draw it right in the corner. At least make him make a tough shot maybe or something. Some other type of shot. He's just gonna roll forward. He's gonna bounce off the rail a little bit when he comes over by the six ball because he wants a little bit of angle where he can just stand right there and cue the ball too. Now he'll just go three rails for the eight ball. He'll go one, two, three, around the nine. He'll cue it kind of in the middle, a little, maybe just above the equator. And he'll spin it quite a bit, let the spin do all the work like that. Now he'll just lightly draw off with some left bottom and take a little longer shot on the nine ball for the corner pocket over there where he's shooting from. Left bottom on this and lightly draw it. Bounce off the rail like that. He hit that good. He put a little extra on it. That's, that's what you're supposed to do and it lands you a little bit better. No, probably a little bit of right bottom and just kill the ball. Draw it a little bit like that. All right, that's two, two. And Joshua Filler to break. It's going to put left bottom, drive the cue ball to the side rail, medium hard so he doesn't foul the break. Uh-oh, he drew it in the side. Like I said before in some of the commentaries, that's the one thing with a side break. You can, there is a scratch. A little scratch, two rails, too. And one in the corner. And get kicked in. But it's the chance you got to take with this nine ball racked on the spot. It's, it makes it a little bit uh, trickier. You don't know where the... It's harder to make get balls to go in on the break and land them just right all the time. He'll just draw this down or he'll roll it with some right... And I think he wants to stay, it don't matter where he gets, because he can get back to the, to the four, I think. He doesn't care if he gets that little angle like that. He didn't have to get perfect. But it would have been better if he would have got perfect, because the eight ball down there is like a beach ball now. He's got to try to spin under that eight ball and go two rails. He actually overhit that. I think maybe he didn't want to go that far or he's going to go before the eight would spin and come back 
for the four ball over near the five ball. So then she tried to shoot the four in the corner pocket near the five ball. Alex Kazakis won the 10 ball European Championship. Played in the Moscone Cup twice. So he knows what that feels like now. I don't know if he's going to try to stun the ball under the eight or roll it before it to get on that four ball down there for the corner. And he went around it, like I said. He had a natural shot. He didn't really have to do nothing with the cue ball, but just roll it. I don't know why he was contemplating there. Now he can contemplate if he wants to, because this one has a little bit of difficulty to it. But it still ain't that difficult. He needs to hit it with a right bottom, a little bit of right flat ball, and draw it and be aggressive, and it'll just come off. Draw off the side rail and come back, and it'll land with a shot between the seven and the nine. He won't put a lot of spin on it because he doesn't want the ball to spin when it hits the rail. He'll hit it kind of flat. He spun that one a little, but he, he hit it all right. Thought he went a little more to the side than I thought it would, but he still executed it well. But you notice the ball wasn't spinning much, and that was the key, the way he hit it. He's going to draw back, I think. He wants to draw back because that leaves him the easier out. But, yeah, he's got to draw back. I'm pretty sure. He'll just touch draw the ball back a little. This is what I call a touch draw. It's sitting a little bit going towards the rail, but it's still he can pull out of it. Notice he ain't moving the cue much. See that? That's the key to those shots, is don't pump the cue a lot on them little draw shots. Be real careful and then accelerate when you go through. I played this guy one time and he he's a little slow for me. I like to play him with a 20 second shot clock. No, I'm just kidding. Left top, he's gonna roll this and bounce off the rail. He might come all the way over because the nine's impeding on his chances of getting around back down table. So he'll come all the way back over to the just to short of the rail like that. Perfect. Didn't go to the rail, but that's all right. He could have used the rail too. He's gonna draw this straight back past the side. He wanted to go a little bit further where he could just go two rails around the table. And that would have made it a lot easier. But uh, He wanted to take us some time and use that thing. No, I just kidding. <laughs> What's he gonna do? He's gonna draw back to the side rail. No spin, just kind of a flat ball. Good shot. Let's see Lance dead straight on that rail. He's got a little bit of angle. He's perfect. All he's got to do is make it, put a little bit of speed on it so he gets down table just a little bit. When you land against the rail, there's always a chance of missing the ball, no matter how easy it is. He just needs to hit this one just a little. Flat ball, no spin problem. Wow, he hit it too hard. He's lucky he didn't scratch there. He way over hit, he over amped, you call that. Right bottom here, easy, easy shot. All right, three, two, Kazakis. Kazakis to break left bottom, breaking from the left side. Try, drive the cue ball to the side rail. He's fouled the break. No? Can you foul the break if you make three balls? I ain't never seen a break like this. I guess he does. <laughs> he made three balls on the break and he fouled. <laughs> That's funny. Did he? No, he didn't. 
No, he gets to keep shooting because he made three balls. Isn't that amazing? So if you make three, you don't have to get one back. I've never seen that. That's for sure. I think it should be a foul. You should have to get one back at least. <laughs> That's interesting. Looks like he could play the nine somehow with a lot of spin, but that's too risky. He could sell out. He doesn't have a good shot on the, on the pocket, the three ball. The five's in the way. He can either take a shot at playing the five ball combination, just a light draw off the nine, or play safe, thank the three back and put him behind that nine somehow. I knew he might go for that, and he did. Tried the light draw off the... He's a lucky rascal, too. He has a few rolls when I played him, like that right there. He butchered the ball, and look what he left the guy. <laughs> of course, this is what we all hate about pool. The only thing he can do now is just thin the ball or try to bank it in. What can he do? Play the nine, he could play the nine. Then the, the three ball come over and try to put him behind the, the four or something, or just put the cue ball over there. But it's hard to not sell out. If, uh, when he thins this ball, it's, it's, I think he might have to shoot at it or something. Or play him behind the eight real slow. That was, not bad, because he, he was actually handcuffed on that shot, literally. Because if he tried to put him behind a five or a four or something, and he didn't execute the shot, the three was going to bounce out and sell out. He still might have sold out with the bank. He's got a cross bank for the side. He's looking to see if the four passes the five. He's going to try to cross it and draw back down table and come back with speed. But... Uh, that shot's tricky, too. He's got to go for the bank. He's handcuffed because there's no safety. Unless he thins the three and goes two rails and comes down back behind the five four. Side rail, bottom rail, back to the side rail with the five four, with the cue ball, which I think is not on either because he can't control the three ball. So... His only choice, it's funny, Paul, your only choice is to shoot now. A lot of times it presents itself this way, that you have no choice but to shoot. You may as well make a full commitment, too. He's going to hit it with left bottom, left middle, left high left. I think he's going to hit it kind of firm and go back and forth instead of rolling it. I would hit it firm and go back and forth. like that. See, he was never going to have a shot. He got lucky again. He's one lucky rascal. You can see that right there. He shot that ball wrong. He was supposed to uh, hit it hard, harder than that, I thought. A little bit harder than that. He's going to jump it and try to create something. He might try to make it the way they jump with these things now. Jump over to five and the four. Trying to make the three in the corner. But he's played a good safety. See how lucky that cue is? <laughs> I think he left him a little bit of air. Maybe he was look, he looked like he left him straight in. He's got some strange looks for a guy that left him nothing. <laughs> oh. These guys are beauties today, I'll tell you that. And what's he got? Some other Jump cue, I thought he had, he's got three of them over there. All right. I say you need to get rid of the jump cue. That's my impression on that stick. But anyway, he's going to jump it, obviously. I don't know if he's going to try to make it or play safe. Uh, this one's makeable. He'll put some left on it and try to cut it in the corner, I'm assuming. That's the way I would shoot it if I was trying to make it. Aim a little thick, put some left on it. 
popped the cone for him. He didn't aim thick on the ball. Now he scratched. Finally, he didn't get lucky. But um, he didn't aim thick on that ball. He aimed direct, and it curved tremendously while it went through the air. And that's, that's why he scratched and didn't hit the ball. I mean, th thick enough to create something else. I think he'll just roll into the five and shoot the ball in the corner. That's what it looks like he's going to do. Just bump the five real slow. And then shoot the pink in the corner. He landed a little bit funny, though. He needed a little more spin on that shot. He didn't put enough spin on it. So... Now he's landed a little bit funny. I don't know if he can slow roll or he's gonna fire it in and go around the table or he's gonna slow roll it. Yeah, that's the shot. The only thing is he landed himself right on top of the, this one can be missed by anybody. But it shouldn't be a problem for him. It's kind of tricky though, he's gonna put Right, well, he's got right bottom and stun the ball and go across. Go back and forth, past the eight ball. I think he has to do that because if he rolls it, it might roll over by the eight. Yeah, he's going to put right on it and then pop it a little bit. Like that. Wow. He overcut the ball going in the hole. He's in no man's land now. Now he's just, I'm going to see how good he is. I couldn't get out from here if you, if it, when I couldn't get out from here probably. I don't know. This is a hard shot for anybody, to tell you the truth. The way I would play this one is I would put a little bit of right on it and I come over and go past the side just a little bit where the cue ball is now, try to hit there, and then go back to the middle and cut the eight in the corner. If he tries to inside this, it's the hardest shot in the world. Unless he can cut it in the side and go around the table. You put left on it. It's one difficult shot. It's easier if you put a little right and do what I... Oh, he's, I didn't know he could go around the table. I said if maybe he can go around the table, and he did. Now he's going to land right on the rail. That was a good shot. That ball barely went in the hole. I didn't think <laughs> that was a hell of a cut. Of course, I can't tell on here always what the situation is exactly, unless I was down there with the bird eye view, you know? He'll roll this in with a little bit of right, maybe, or no spin, real lightly. This is a young man's shot right here. Just roll it in, and he missed it. Look at that. See there? What a humbling game pull is. It's amazing. I didn't think he would miss that shot. That's the one kind of shot uh, when you're younger, you have an advantage on an older player, I think. Some of these little shots off the rails. He's going to roll this with some left. He'll stun it, maybe, with left. That'll alter the cue ball to where it won't scratch. He'll hit it kind of hard. That way it won't go around and scratch, see? And he almost, yeah, he was missing the scratch still. Good shot. He'll just roll this in with some left or draw it and stun it right there. He rolled it with. I'm never going to guess on that again. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Uh, Gazakis leads four to two. Filler to break. Left bottom. Driving the cue ball to the side rail. Oh, he's done it again. Almost. The, the eight ball came along and nipped the cue ball. Looked like it was going to go in the corner again. I mean, in the side. But, uh... He has a decent shot on it, too. All he's got to do is jack up and stun, stun to the rail. Like that. Uh, he'll draw... He wants to stay right there. I would 
I would just stay right there, just roll it in with a lot of spin. He might draw down. These guys play a little different than I do. He could draw and try to hit the, hit the eight, but or roll it and down. He's going to draw around somehow or another. That's where he needed to stay, on that side like that. So he can come around for the five. The only thing is, is now it's, it's the eight's in his way. The eight's like a giant beach ball right now. He wants straight top. He's going to hit it with speed. You don't want it to come all the way around. It might scratch. He took a chance there, I'll tell you. Let's see how he landed on this one. Yeah, he's a little bit funny now, again. The nine's an easy shot for the combination because it's sitting just off the rail, as long as he can get on it right. He may just draw about draw over. He'll jack up, put a lot of right bottom, and he'll draw. He won't go to a rail here, I don't think. It's too risky. If he just draws to the middle of the table, it's an easy shot to play the combo. Wow, good shot. The only thing is, watch out. See, he could have scratched. <laughs> but that was a good shot. Now it's a good shot for sure. I guess he wanted to make sure and get close to this, closer. But I didn't think he needed to. Left bottom on this, just play it. He could hit the rail or anything. God almighty, I don't believe he missed that one. Wowzers. Oh man, he shot right in between the rail and the ball. He was in, indecisive when he went to shoot it. It's crazy. I almost believe he'd have been better to stay in the middle of the table and roll into it. You couldn't miss it if you if you just rolled the ball into it from the other from the middle of the table. I think a lot of pros know what I shot and they know what I'm talking about. It looks like he can draw off the seven ball and play the nine, but I can't tell if the nine's frozen or not. If the nine's frozen, it makes it a way harder shot to, ca to carry him this in. Much harder if it's frozen. Yeah, it was, and he, he hit right on the ball. Here's another shot the young guy should be able to handle. Maybe the lighting's not good enough in here, I don't know. This look a little bit dark. But I think when I was his age, I'd roll this one right in. No problems. He's just gonna roll it in and make it, try to shoot the eight in the opposite corner down there of the seven once he makes it. Unless he stays for the nine. Well, he's he's making a lot of simple mistakes. I've, I've only watched the guy play a little bit. But he's making a lot of mistakes for a guy that they said was so great. But I'm sure he is great. I know how Paul is. You can... It's a humbling game, this game. Left bottom, draw back. Nobody's in control of Paul. Paul's its own game. This ain't golf. Left bottom, draw back, sideways. Just stop. Roll it in real slow. A thousand different ways you could shoot that one. He'll never shoot it the way I think. No, I'm just kidding. Five two Sagas Kazakis to break. Left bottom. Drive the cue ball to the side rail. Medium hard. He doesn't want to foul the break. But he won't do that. I know him. He'll try to hit him just right to where he can manipulate it. <laughs> and he did. Look at that. Oh boy, this guy gets some gravy. The other guy's played the worst he's ever played in his life, and he's getting every roll. I'm not just kidding. <laughs> uh, look at this easy out. All he's got to do is roll the two in. The cue ball's going to go right down on a three. Just make the two. Real simple shot. He might put just a little bit of left on it so it brings the cue ball out just a little bit. He may cheat the pocket a little too so that it helps get better position on the three. 
and he, he hit that ball kind of funny. I almost thought he, I thought he missed it. But he didn't hit it right, so he landed funny on the three now. He wanted to cheat the pocket a little or hit it on the right side of the pocket so the cue ball would have been further out on the table. Now he's got to slow roll this in with straight top, real slow, or hit it hard and go all the way around the table. Go one, two, three, four, and out. He could do that too. Or he could hit it real slow, stand in the middle, two rounds. Hit it real hard and go around. And he's gonna shoot it slow. I'm surprised he hit that ball. He hit that weird. I didn't think he should have ever hit that ball going around. I almost believe he undercut that quite a bit and it caught the edge of the pocket. Or it skid a little. Didn't think he should have ever hit the five coming back out. Now he's gonna shoot left bottom and draw off. He's got either pocket. If he doesn't, he doesn't have to land exactly perfect. He just doesn't want to land in the middle. He's rolling it. Now he's, he, see there, he, these guys don't know what they're gonna do. Left bottom is, I'm probably tell you to be honest with you, I might roll this shot with straight top. Filler looks a little uh, perplexed over there. He's, Played poorly, and now this guy's taking forever to shoot. No, just kidding. He might roll this in, I don't know, and go two rails past the eight, or he might draw it with left bottom, come back to the middle. Looks like he's rolling. Yeah, two rails. That's the way I would have shot it. Right the only thing is, he didn't want to land straight like that. That was the only thing he didn't want. But he's still all right. He's close to the ball. He can draw out of it and stun the ball three rows. It's not that hard of a shot. He's going to act like it is, but it ain't that hard of a shot. It's just below center with left. He may have to hit a little bit lower than normal on this one because he's got a 90 degree angle. That's the difference. It only, if it only had 88 degrees or 85 degrees, he wouldn't have to hit as quite as low maybe. But he's got to get some left on it to make it take the rails around for the eight. Three rails, maybe four. He butchered it. And he, he still got away with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I knew he would. I didn't think he was going to get away with it, but he left him a tricky shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. He would have never missed that ball on me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's got to cut this in and go around the table, I think. Or can he slow roll it? No, he slow rolled it. Hit the eight. Wow. That was, I didn't know he could do that. I couldn't see that. Overhead camera doesn't tell me nothing. It's crazy. I still say that was a tricky shot he pulled off there because it could have landed weird, but it landed just right. All he's got to do is make this, just stun it with some bottom and just stun it or roll it in real slow. God, this guy's, and he's looped it. Wow. <laughs> uh, he just rolled this in with laugh or draw two rails. He'll just draw it two rails. About the bottom. I'll just roll it in. He drew it. There you go. Wow, he needs to like uh, take a break or something. Left bottom, 5 3, and filler to break, driving the cue ball to the side row. Looks like a decent break. Oh, the 5 came along and ended that, that rack. He might have had a chance to break and run there. But he's playing a little. Oh, it's shaky, looks like to me. I don't know. Of course, we've all played that way. I'm surprised at some of the shots he's missed. Myself. But, let's see. He's got to roll out. He could roll. He's going to try to tie up a ball. Put the cue ball on the rail over there. 
That's a good shot. There wasn't nothing wrong with that. I thought he should have sent the cue ball to the side row and leave him straight in on the two ball. That would have been the more prudent play. He actually has a shot like this. If he would have left it on the side rail, he would be straight in with no way to get over. So, but I might have overlooked that too. Now he's got a shot to pocket the ball. And the combination goes on the six down here. This is a tough shot. He'll try to fire it in and create something on the three ball. Maybe some left top or straight top. I can't tell if he can miss the nine and the seven. He maybe can. No, he went around them. That's a good shot. That was the right shot. That was a nice shot by Alex. Now he'll just, I think all he needs to get do is get to the side rail, and then he can play the combination. So all he's got to do is make this ball, and it'll go over to the side rail. Probably just straight top. I don't think he needs to get all, maybe, maybe he needs to get all the way out. He might have to hit it harder and get back to the middle of the table or he can stay on the side rail. Hmm. They're missing a lot of shots, that's for sure. So Filler's getting chances. He could have had this match on ice, Kazakas. Almost. Now it's starting to look, Filler's getting some chance, they're getting, coming back to life, and he's played not very well. But they both missed some shots, so. Filler looks the shakier to me, I don't know why. All he's got to do is make this. I don't know if he'll go all the way around, try to get back in the middle of the table for the combination, or just land on the side rail. He's going to cut the three on the side. Good shot. Yeah, he can just, that's what I thought, he could just, Land there, play the combination, go two rails, and the four comes off for the same pocket. Let's put a little bit of right on it. It might not even go to the little right like that. Two rails back for the same pocket. Perfect. I finally got something right. Got that one right. Let's see. And he's just going to roll forward. He could roll forward, create an angle for the corner, or he could roll forward and shoot it in the side. I think he's going to try for the corner. He underhit that. He's not playing. He's playing a little weird. We could play him some placement pool. Left, middle, just below center, and stun it, and go to the rail, and come back off. All right, he'll stun this just below center with right. And he'll use the rail again. He'll bounce off and shoot the seven in the opposite corner over there. Let's hit it with some right, just below center. Stun off the rail like that. He'll stop right there on the nine. Straight bottom, just stop. And just stop again. It's like five, five, four Kazakas. So, two little mistakes from Kazakis now. Five four Kazakis to break. Left bottom, left side. Try to drive the cue ball to the side rail. I'm not gonna say he's gonna hit him medium hard because he ain't never gonna do that. He's gonna hit him just enough. <laughs> just enough. <laughs> Watch, see there? Just enough. He's lucky that ball came along and knocked it down the table. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, he's a beauty. Oh, God, that break. Uh, but I'll tell you what, he landed them perfect. <laughs> he did something there that I can't seem to do, is break them and land them all perfect. All he's got to do is shoot left top, put quite a bit of spin on it, just roll the ball two rails, create a little bit of angle on the three, and then come down table for the combination on the seven. Might draw it just a little bit just to get stay there. Oh, he rolled it just like I said. Yep, perfect. Good shot. 
He didn't draw it. He rolled it, just like I said the first. That's the way you're supposed to play these shots. That's why if they play me placement pool, they'll feel me a lot better because I spin the ball real good. This, this, this is all luck right here, kind of. All right, he's gonna, I thought he would put a lot of left on the ball, go side rail, and float down for the combination. But it might be tricky how he can get on the four. If he draws off and plays a carom on the seven, it leaves the four right there. That might be what he's doing. Yeah. So he's just going to play the little carom on the four. But a little touch of right. We'll just, I, I think that was the wrong shot almost. I don't know why. Because it don't look like it's sitting where... He might have to bank it out for the side instead of the other corner. I think the pink will come out for the side almost. Yeah, it was tricky. It still goes, though. Yeah, he's all right. He almost overhit it, though. Just a hair. He almost, if he would hit a little bit harder, he'd have been in no man's land. <clears throat> I can't always tell how the balls are sitting down there, the object ball, so. He's going to cut this in with a lot of spin. I think it may go to the side rail and just go two rails and then bump the nine. That's the shot. If he does something else, then he's a genius. He may spin and, and get more on it and do something else, but I would just put enough to, to go two rails around the five and come back and almost hit the nine. And that was perfect. Good shot. He played that exactly the way I think so. These guys do play a lot of shots the way I think, but they play a lot of shots the way they think, so. Here he's just gonna draw back. He looks to be pretty straight on the ball. Just gonna draw back to the side rail, bottom, bottom. Little strokes, draw like that. Good shot. This table draws nice. That, the table I'm playing on doesn't draw that easy. He would have never went anywhere with that stroke on the table I'm playing on. <laughs> that's a thousand degrees here, so that's another thing. That's a lot of heat and humidity. But he's just going to roll this in with straight top, I think. He might put a lot of spin on it and go to the side rail. I think the easier shot is just to roll it lightly like that. And just stop right there on this one. All right, Kazakis, 6-4. Filler to break, left side, left bottom, trying to drive that cue ball to the side rail. Don't foul the break. Wow, what a perfect break that was. But all the league players and amateur players need to Watch how pros break too. They can learn a lot how they break. The break is a hard shot, I'll tell you that. Strongest man in the world can't break a pool ball, rack a pool ball. He's gonna draw back, I think, for the three, yeah. Good shot. He could have stayed right there and floated the three down, but this seemed better to him. He'll just draw off right bottom. A lot of bottom in this one. See how he put a lot of bottom on? The amateur players and the avid, avid players out there, you got to watch how they put a lot of bottom on it. He'll just stun two rails or roll it. Stun two rails, yeah, like that. That was just a lot of left. Had a lot of left bottom on this. Just stun off. Good shot. Now he'll just he, he'll just draw over with left bottom, put a, quite a bit of spin, he'll spin it over. No, he stayed there, he's gonna go two rails. A lot of left bottom, just spin like that. They, don't, they can't film fast enough for this guy. 
right bottom on this, or we'll just roll it in with right. Right bottom. All right, six five Kazakis to break. Left side, left bottom, driving the cue ball to the side rail. It's gonna hit him his speed. <laughs> Oh, left bottom. I could break like that, and I'd never make a ball no break, I guarantee you. <laughs> oh, he makes one every time. When I played him, he made a ball every break. What if he played me and he never made a ball in the break? You think he could win? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> oh, boy. Love to play somebody that placement pool where there's no break and there's no luck, and you got to play serious pool. It looks like he's got a safety here somehow. Uh, I think he'll try to like bank the one ball back maybe and draw over somehow. But he could leave a clear path that way if he doesn't hit it right. The match is closer now, six five. Things start playing on your mind when you're way ahead, and then you, the match gets close again. He could just hit it with some left and bank the ball and kill it. Looks like to me, just slow roll it like, and kill it behind the six. Oh, he kicked it. That was a good shot if he'd have went ahead and hit it, but he didn't hit it. It was actually the right shot. He's going to have to play safe, I guess. But I said that again to Jeremy Jones, and he made the damnedest shot I've ever seen where he was going to play some other shot. I guess he might play safe here. Draw it behind the eight and the three somehow. Bank the ball. Nope, that's a good shot. That's a fine shot. I think he left in the edge barely, but that's no good for uh, Kazakis, I don't think. I don't even think he left in the edge. He's going to have to kick down behind the nine and the one on the bottom row and hit the one, or he'll have to do something else. But this is the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. He's going to play the thins on the one, try to thin it and do something. Yeah, that was never going to be any good. Never. I can't believe he shot at that. So he shows some immaturity right there. I mean, not, he haven't been, hasn't been playing 40 years, so some shots you just can't shoot. They're, they're sell out every time. Got to shoot them a different way. I think he might sh fire this ball in the corner and stun off right there. But I don't know, it's tricky getting back for the three ball. That's why he's trying to deal with right now. Where, where can he land the cue ball best to get back on the three? He wants to go three rails off the three, but the six and the seven are in the way. But he could go between the nine and the six and get on the three. But that's tricky too. If he draws over to the middle of the table, that's tricky too. He'd have to draw all the way back underneath the eight ball to the three. He's either going to stun out or draw all the way back around the table too and get on the other, get on the draw out like that. That was the other one I called. And now he's just going to draw off the rail and try to come back past the eight and shoot the three in the other corner. That was the right way to play it. That was it. Now he needs to draw the ball, I think, draw back around the table. Maybe. He can put a lot of spin on it and spin over. That's tricky. 
I can't tell exactly when they go overhead. I, that's useless to me right there. He could spin over on this, but it's funny. It's a little bit funny. Or he could go right to the middle of the table and just take a little tougher cut on the pink. Or he can draw all the way around the table, all the way around the six and the nine, and shoot the ball on the side or the corner. I think that's the right shot, is to draw it back around the rails. Like that. Only thing is, he hit it too hard. He's going to land in no man's land. Wow. I can't believe he hit it that hard. He didn't have to hit that that hard. He can cut it in the corner, but I'll tell you, that's a funny shot right here, knowing what the cue ball is going to do. I mean, he cut it in the side. He's got a combination, too, on the nine, but wow. That was a simple mistake, how hard he, he overamped on that three ball. To me, he bridged it wrong. They don't know all the bridges yet. They need to come to me and learn the bridges. No, just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, uh, he could cut this in the side, but I don't guess. No, he can't either. I'm looking at it now. I guess he's just going to play safe somehow. That ain't a bad shot. Good shot. Very good. That was the right shot. He can't jump it. He's got a kick at it. He took one rail away from him with the eight ball. And Shucks, I'll tell you what. He might not can he's gotta hit bottom rail, side rail. Or no, he can go side rail. Can he? Yeah, with a lot of spin, he can go side rail. I don't think he can go that way, the way he's looking, because the set, it, he may be able to get just past the side with a lot of spin, and if he can get a lot of spin on the ball, he can get it that way. But he left it really tricky, and that was a good, good lead. That it's not a gimme kick, it's a tricky one, I'll tell you that. But Joshua Filler won the World Championship in 2018, won the U.S. Open in 2019. That's a couple of good titles, I'll tell you that. I won a few of those world titles. They were fun. Should have won more. Left, he's got a lot of spin. He needs a lot of spin to hit this ball. Look at this, he made it almost. Wow. Boy, this guy's lucky. <laughs> he's luckier than me. I can't tell if he snookered him or not, but that's amazing that he snookered him. I don't think he, it's close. I can't tell. I think he is snookered. Yeah, he's got to jump it. This guy's a... He's a... He's missed it. And darn if he didn't get a little lucky, too. I see how these guys are winning now. I'm not just kidding. <laughs> oh. But uh, <laughs> it's been a uh, comedy of errors in a, here in the last 20 or 30 minutes. But that's the nature of the game. Pool's a very difficult game. People don't understand. He's going to put right top and play safe behind a nine, I think. Or he'll send him down table. It's tricky playing behind a nine because he might sell out if he don't hit it right. Good shot. Very good. I think he's got him where he might have to kick two rails or more. That was a good shot there. That's a tough shot to hit the right speed. It really is. I think he can hit it with a lot of spin, maybe. If he, if he can't, he'll have to go bottom rail, side rail. I 
I think he's looking at that. He can't get no momentum kicking just one rail. He can get momentum kicking two rails. But I, he, he can't get momentum kicking one rail because he has to put so much spin on the ball to hit it. So I can tell you right now, the right shot is to try to hit it two rails. I've shot this shot many times. When you kick it the other way, it's just, you just sell out, seems like to me, or you don't hit the ball. He's doing the one that I, even though the other one's riskier. Naturally, he hit it good. He wasn't as snookered as I thought. Good shot, real good. There's always an element of luck. Anytime you do that, you kick and hit a ball and leave the guy no shot. It's just amazing to me. I, was, I, I won a lot of my matches on offense, I think. I never even, a lot of tournaments even. I, I didn't want to play safe. I care about saves. I just want to shoot. He's gonna jump this with a jump cue. Obviously, the guy's played a clever shot. Now he gets to jump it. It's crazy. He's just going to jump over it and try to knock the ball down table and use the ball to six and a seven to block him with. He's not going to jump it too hard. He'll jump it like, unless he's trying to bank it. He might be trying to bank it. No, he's doing what I said. So he's gonna jump it and kill it and play safe. And naturally, he got him. Look at that. <laughs> it couldn't have landed any other way, could it? <laughs> he could shoot it a thousand times and couldn't land it like that. The guy there, he's, like I said, I wanna play him a game that has no luck. Absolutely none, playing pool. And if he beats me then, then I'll say he's the best. <laughs> so to spin around and try to hit it somehow. Look at this shot. If it comes back and gets him, but it didn't. He tried, he wanted to clip it and send the cue ball back down the table, but he hit too much of the ball. That was actually not a bad play. Nine could have came back. He's just gonna slow roll this in with left or right, I mean. It's got a little more angle than I thought. So, I don't know if he'll try to go around the table somehow or back and forth. It, look, it looks like it's hard to slow roll this and stay for the side. Hmm. This is a shot he could shoot a lot of different ways and uh, it can be missed easily too because it's sitting kind of funny. I say he's gonna shoot it slow for some reason. He changed his mind, now he's rolling or something. Yeah, he ain't sure. He could scratch right in the side pocket too. If he cuts it in the corner and hits it thin, if he hits the ball real thin going in the pocket, it'll, it'll, it'll come straight back in the side. He may have to try to run into the nine ball or go up and down the table or turn back and hit the seven, a little bit of right, or try to slow it down for the side. Just like I said, the nine ball. Look at this guy. And see there what I'm talking about? Can't play for luck. He was playing for luck. I would have never tried to hit the nine ball in that shot, to be honest with you. I'm glad I called it, but you couldn't have called that with me shooting. I would have never shot. I would have never hit the nine ball. <laughs> why is he? I don't know why he ain't playing for the side. He's rolling up. Oh, he is standing over for the side. No, he's rolling up for the corner. I thought he would have shot that ball on the side. But it doesn't matter. If he doesn't get out here, it won't, it'll be really amazing. Just stop right there or go forward. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it, Alex? Straight top. If he draws this, I won't believe it. 
Guy draws everything. <laughs> yeah. Just roll it in, draw it back to the side rail. <laughs> there you go. All right, 6-6. Six, six. What a simple mistake he made there. He should have went another way. Left bottom, filler to break. 6-6. Six, six. Good break. Wow, landed perfect. He's got a combination on the eight. He made one ball on the break. Combination on the eight, stay right there for the one. He'll put a little bit of right top on this, go to the side rail, or he could come straight back down the table a little bit too. Get on the two. Go to the side rail like that. That was the right shot. Now he'll just follow forward on the three. He might go all the way to the bottom rail and bounce off, or he might just go real slow. Very good. Good shot. Now he'll just draw over with a little bit of right bottom. A lot of bottom. He'll just touch draw the ball over. He won't go too far to where he's got an angle going towards the nine. He'll just touch draw it off the rail like that. Stay right there where he didn't go towards the nine. Now he'll either draw off and stay in the middle for a little bit of angle on the six or or he'll follow it with left top and just bounce off lightly. He'll do one or two, draw off probably. Yeah, they do that a lot, these guys, they draw off. All right, right bottom, draw back down the table, down the middle. They love doing that right there. They think they're showing off, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, now left top. Draw to the side rail or float back down the middle of the table. He's floating back down the middle of the table. Right top. Either way, right or left. Here he'll stun this in. He won't roll this ball. He'll stun it two rails or draw to the side rail. That is, I, I used to shoot that shot like that 40 years ago. Don't do it anymore. All right, Filler took the lead amazingly. It's a guy, it's a, Kazakis made a few mistakes. Left bottom, left side, his speed. I'm never gonna say he's gonna hit him that hard because he's gonna hit him his speed. He's kind of handed this match back. But that's pull. That's the nature of the game. Boy, what a break this is. Huh. He's got like a gimme out. This table breaks like a bar table. I probably couldn't make a ball on the break on this table. Now, if I can't make one on that table, I won't believe it. It's amazing. I'll never see a table break this like this. It must be really dry in this arena. Make three balls on the break. It's so rare in pool. You see that many go. He's going to draw the right bottom between the middle. He's contemplating if he should go between those seven and nine in the middle of the table. And I think it's tricky. Yeah, it is tricky. Wow. That is really tricky when they showed me that one. He can draw past the nine, around the nine, the side of it, or he can roll into the seven real lightly or try to go between them. It's tricky, that's for sure. I think he should draw on the other side and I hit the bottom rail and go two rails. He just doesn't want to do that. He thinks he's going to draw it right in the... It is tricky, I will admit. I think the, the safest shot is to shoot it slow and bump the seven. If he truly wants to get a shot on the three ball, a decent shot, not be down all the way down table. He's drawing a little bit somehow. Uh -huh. It is funny, I will admit. It 
go in between the seven and the nine from the other illustration they showed me it was uh, really tricky. Trying to put some kind of right bottom. He's drawing. And try to go around the nine two rails. We're in between them. Good shot. I will admit, that was a nice damn shot right there. He didn't hit a ball either. Huh, like threaded a needle. Very good. All right, he'll either draw over or go two rails around the eight. Just create a little bit of angle on the side rail with the four ball. He's drawing. Perfect. He'll just stop right there and follow the seven in the side. I still don't like playing the way they play. It's weird, but... He'll stun it a little so it moves. Or he'll shoot it real slow. Yeah, like that. That's the shot the amateurs need to learn, the little stun shot. Where you hit just below center and you hit the ball a little harder than normal and it just moves a little bit. It's so important to move the cue ball just a little bit here and there like that. And that's what the amateurs, the APA players, and the league players, and all them avid players need to learn. Straight top, just roll forward. He might go all the way to the bottom rail, I don't know, just to the middle of the table. Just to the middle of the table. I'm gonna start saying eight different things, and then I gotta be right on one of them. And here again, he's landed straight. They like landing straight. I don't know. I would have stopped in the middle and went two rails. Uh, there's got to be a way to penalize them for landing like this. There's got to be some game that would penalize you when you don't land in the right place. He's just going to draw back. Nice touch draw. Little strokes. See how he's doing the little strokes? You guys out there need to watch that too. Little strokes. Don't have to rev it up, just make a good swing coming through. That's when do all your energy coming through the shot, not going back. He'll put a little bit of right bottom maybe is just stun it. Just below center. Or he might roll it too. He's gonna roll it, I think, with right. Just gonna roll it in like that. Nope. There's a lot of different ways to shoot those nine balls. So pay attention on those too. Filler to break, seven to seven. Kazakas tied it up. God, this table breaks easy. I never seen nothing like it. It's amazing. They get perfect every time. I'd love to play pool like this. How do they how do they do that? I can't ever do that. <laughs> Look at these shots they're getting. They're like gimmies. But still it ain't. We know pool's a hard game. Any any shot can be missed. He's just gotta roll this in real lightly. And he'll go right to the middle of the table for an angle on the two. Wow. He meant to get over there. Well, that was a hell of a shot, I'll tell you that. Now he gets easy now. He just go three rails. One side, bottom rail, side rail. He ain't going to get the third rail, though. He underhit that. He actually should have went all the way to the side rail and got straight in. But he's still all right. He'll just roll this in with a little left, draw it, come back for the four in the same pocket. See, they always land where they got to draw, these guys. Five by ten would kill them if they was landing like this all the time. Couldn't. I think he's going to stun this or, or stun it. Stun it two rails would spin. Like that. See, he keeps landing in tricky places. Now he's got to he's got to cut this in with high ball. Cut it in, and the, and the cue ball will clip the nine ball and come back for shape on the six. I don't know why he's looking at that. That won't go if he pockets the ball. The nine won't go.
Just straight talk. He's drawing her something. Whoa. Is he trying to make the nine then? No. That was a good shot. He drew off of it and spun around instead of rolling it. That way he could hold the ball in line better. That was a good shot. I knew he was going to clip the nine and come back somehow, but I didn't know he would do it like that. And that was a good way to do it. It left him an awkward shot, but it still it was a prudent play, without a doubt. He'll put right top on this and just slow roll it. Or he'll fire it in. He likes whacking these kind and going back and forth a little more than I do. All right, he's all right now. He didn't hit that ball very good, but it went in. Straight top, or he's going to draw it. I would just roll this ball. These guys, and I was the same way when I was younger. I hated rolling the ball. I hated it. Now I'm a genius at it, and I don't understand, but when I was younger, I would draw everything too. Get straight in and draw and draw and draw. But I, as I played, I just started realizing it was easier to use the rails. You should just follow this or draw it. Yeah, just follow it like that. He still stunned that a little bit for my liking. But he's all right. He'll just draw off two rails here. If he rolls this, I won't believe it. I bet my life he'd draw two rails. Like that. Have to, wouldn't he? All right, full filler takes the lead, 8-7. Kazakis to break. I felt Kazakis had this match, and he let it slip. Left bottom, left side, imperative that he makes a good break. This is the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. Like and follow if you enjoy this. I'm Earl Strickland for the Billiard Network. Sagakis to break. 8-7. Filler. Driving the cue ball, the side rail. No, he almost scratched. Ooh, he did scratch. That could be curtains now. But these balls are tied up kind of funny over here. Unless he's got a dead combination on the three ball. Yeah, he came with a f one last funny swing when he didn't need it. He, he hit him a little bit too thick. But he got a bad roll still. The ball got kissed in the pocket. That's the way it happens for me. And that's a bunch of sour grapes, ain't it, huh? All right, Filler's going to follow this with right top. Bounce off the rail. Let's see if I can get him right on this rack here. He's unpredictable, though, these guys. He shoots kind of quick when he's not perplexed. He's going to draw back and leave the two right there. All right, good. Left bottom. He'll draw back just before the side, bounce back out. Two rails. He could go three, but I don't think he'll go three. It's, it's an easy two reller, I think. I think. Of course, this shot scares me a little bit these days. Left bottom, go two rails back to the middle. Yep, I did that right, like I thought, anyway. Yeah, you had it, Alex. You did. You had that match. Yep. Now he's landed funny. Look at that. He didn't quite hit it. He underhit that. He, un he didn't, he, when he shot the two ball, he should have hit closer to the side pocket. Then he did, and he got way away from it. This is sitting kind of weird right here, I will admit. He's going to have to hit the nine ball somehow and, and get the cue ball to come back down table, too. I don't know if he can draw off of it or follow off. I think if he follows, it's going to stick the cue ball down there, almost. Unless he puts some left on it and it spins off the rails. He thinks he's going to make the nine, too. He's hitting middle ball. He's going to make it deflect. And it made the nine. Wow. He never got shape, either. But there you have it. Joshua Filler is the winner. Nine to seven over Alex Kazakis. It was a great match. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned to the Billiard Network for more great pool action from around the world. I'm Earl Strickland saying goodbye.